Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro the Dragon Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I've got this guy in my sights. Last time, I returned to Treetops and finally freed Jed from his crystal prison. Now we just gotta get uh, through the rest of Nasty's world. Some rats. I like that whatever this is is making engine noises. That's a nice touch. Not a defeat. Well, I'll be at the beginning again. Shit. No. No. Hell, all oh, that pipe. Oh, uh, you, well, the the the, the hitbox for that pipe is a lot bigger than the pipe. Shit. Oh, I bet it's those fat parts with all the rivets on them. I bet the, the whole pipe hitbox is as thick as that. I felt like I was whacking my forehead on literally nothing. I'm very annoyed with that one, let me tell you. I don't know what the fuck happened there. So why did it work that time? Yeesh. Oh, look at that. I was one guy away from the uh, next checkpoint. Or the, I guess the first checkpoint of this level. Into the sea with you. Sparks, you're back! Here, have a lunch. Sorry about letting those guys slap you around. Uh oh, right. Cosmos, I remember you. Thank you for rescuing me. Wait, I thought they were reusing the guys for a reason. That was the first guy I met in Magic Crafters. I remember that. Because he was all, you know, fancy about it. Like, Welcome to Magic Crafters, Spyro! But, uh... You know, Delbin came back because he had some advice to give me about how to find Nork. But, uh... This guy just said thanks. Why was he imprisoned again? Oh, you're dumb. I guess in every universe, uh... Orcs subscribe to the more DACA philosophy. Huh. I wonder where they're pumping these juices. Oh, right. So it's just kill Nork without getting hit and find the room in uh, Dreamweavers. Getting from the first checkpoint to the second one is way easier. And 
Interesting. Is that what this is about? I missed. Oh, all right. You can have one, too. But don't tell your mother. Cletus! Be on the lookout for no commando, Spyro. They better be on the lookout for me. My lozenge wrapper says, nothing you can't handle. Oh. Oh! Oh, there's a welcome sight. Here, I can get over there. I didn't think that was going to make it. I'm pleasantly surprised. Oh, shit! I'm supposed to keep going. That's how I take that out. Or maybe I don't, and I can just run across the bridge. Yes, that'd be much easier. Weird that fire would do that. I'm just saying, it is. This is undeniable. What was that? Oh, the lighthouse works. And it's pink. Okay. No! That was really, really annoying. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I blame you. I guess maybe the trick is to feed. I heard blinking. Maybe the ramp I can maybe with the ramp up I can veer to the side, you know? And up there. Right there. But for now, I'm gonna to try to get that chest. I mean, granted, I didn't die this time, so there's that. Butterfly is a one up thing. By the way, uh, shout out to KOR who suggested that the reason that we see the dragons and the fairies being so chummy is that they're the male and female of the same species. 
That's an interesting theory, and I like that. Like, some very, very severe sexual dimorphism. Uh, in case you're not familiar, that isn't a kinky thing. Uh, that's just the official term for when the males of a species uniformly look different from the females. The, uh, first example to pop into my head that I'm sure of is, uh, you know, some species of deer, only the males have antlers. Although not all of them. I think with reindeer, uh, males have uh, antlers that drop off in the winter like, uh, you know, regular deer, but females have antlers that stay all year round. I can't believe that worked without the camera pointing in the right direction, but hey! Ugh. The hell is that? It looks like lava, except that's not what lava does when it touches water. You know, it spreads out and hisses and it's cool. Oh, it is actually cooling, so yeah, it's cool. It forms these, like, flat things of rock that eventually sink. I don't know why lava would be lighter than magma. I don't know. Maybe the heat keeps it afloat. I don't fucking know. Or maybe there was just so much of it that some of it was spilling onto the surface and I visually misinterpreted it. Then again, maybe sometimes they just giggle for the sake of it. Ah! Oh! What do you think this thing does? This is where they refine the watermelon Kool-Aid. Do not breathe this mist, as it's actually quite toxic to humans in its unrefined state. Two yellow ones, I feel spoiled. Oh! Funny how once you realize the sweep, the uh, big ones are actually easier to take on than the little ones. You know, because the little ones are just aiming at you. I guess it is meant to be lava, huh? So why does it just vanish before it touches the water? Well, that doesn't make a lick of sense. It must have been made of paper or something. I meant to do that. That totally wasn't an accident. Oh, there were only two dragons here, okay. drink. I can see some. I thought I could. I thought I saw a sparkle on top of that cliff back there. Well, there was the one up I thought I heard on top of the factory. How close am I? Fairly. Oh! Really glad I had the reflexes for that, because that would have been straight up embarrassing. No, it's not. 
jump over the thing. Let's just do the safe way. Well, I'm glad I took care of that. Criminy! After treetops, that actually felt nice and straightforward, even if the enemies were a much bigger challenge. I'm kind of, kind of curious just how many enemies in this game only seem to appear in one or two levels. Not including bosses, where that's, you know, obvious. Like, maybe not the flights, but, you know, we're gonna get close! How do I have more from Sunny Flight? Oh, that's right, I've never actually gotten all of the, uh, lighthouses lit. Nasty Nork. Like, the boss level? Well, then what the fuck is that? Let me look at the timer first. No, we've got two minutes left. So we're gonna go to night flight. Just throw myself in. TK Rider uh, Driver X suggested to me that uh no no the uh the bumpers don't seem to do oh shit why didn't it work the first time? It just made a boop noise. So there is a 180. Why the hell wasn't it working over there? And then you can just do a loop for the sake of it. Okay. Well, thanks for that. Left a comment saying that apparently Icy Flight is the only one where that doesn't work. So it was just poor timing on my part? I don't know. When I dressed it right off the bat here, it made the eh noise. Give that one the old college try, but. And again, you can press A to give yourself a little extra height. Looks like that. Oh! No! Okay. First things first. I'm just gonna get all the lights. Oh, 
Ah, oh, hell, where are the other ones? Shit! Well, I showed you, didn't I? Alright, one more go. One more go. No! Congratulations! Would I like to try again? Never! Oh man! Turn to peacekeepers? Oh, I guess that does make sense. Yeah, that's what the door is. Oh yeah! That felt good. I have completely completed Peacekeepers. Feels good, man. Well, I'm gonna go around getting some orbs and butterflies, and in the meantime, uh, I'm gonna end the video. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time on Let's Play... Oh. Well, that's just one more to make up for. <laughs> On the next episode of Let's Play Spyro the Dragon Reignited. Later. <laughs>